Somizi Mshomo. Somizi Mshomo is a television presenter, radio personality, dancer, actor, as well as a choreographer. We've seen him on Idol South Africa. We've seen him on V Entertainment. We've seen him on his reality show called Living a Dream with Somizi. Somizi is a man with many talents. He is amazing. So in this video, I will be sharing top five secrets for Somizi's success. If you are just meeting, my name is Vanilla Spongendobo. My passion is to spread positivity, helping you stay motivated so that you can achieve greater success. So let us get to secret number one. Surround yourself with friends, not fans. So, I mean, in, in your book, you've got three close relationships. I think this is why some people don't like you because it's, it's envy, right? Because mm. I was reading your book and I found myself getting jealous, right? Mm. And I don't have a terrible life, but I was like, <laughs> this is nonsense. Three generations. I mean, that is three generations generations of our ultimate divas, right? So when you're watching them and you're close to them and you know, you go with them and you know, they get into a stadium of 60,000 people and you look at that. Do you ever feel like, oh wow, I'll never get to those levels of, I will be successful, I will be, but I'll never get to these level of success? It's, hey, I'm grateful for those opportunities. One, I became, now looking back, I wish I had a, I had a friend like the friend I was to them. Like I had friends that I was, you know, you know, friends that are not just friends and are not just fans. Because when you surround yourself with fans, you're surrounding yourself with, yes, people like these guys here are my mm. fans. And even if I sit there and I go, they go, yes, <laughs> yes. You yawn, some music. Yes. You yawn. Kill them. Kill the yawn. Yes. <laughs> Slay us. Yes. 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 Yawn us, we are your tongue. <laughs> you know? <laughs> but your friend will go, hi, Valum Lomo. <laughs> You know, your friend go, mm -mm -mm, <laughs> you know, so I was that friend to them and it's very difficult at my level right now to have those people, but I still do. Mm. But, um, so I look at the, the friendship that I had, it's just beautiful, just genuine. Mm. And then two, they also are the reason why I stayed in my lane. I ran my race at my pace because through them I saw what God is alive. If God can make it a superstar, yeah. Brenda Fassi was the superstar star ever. Miriam Matiaba was the global icon and it was her time. Uh -huh. And I realized that Lebu Matosa, Lebu, anything that Lebu touched, was when Lebu walks on stage, whoever comes after Lebu is dead. Yeah. You know? So I realized through them, which is no. Uh -huh. God is sending me a message, which is, wait. Look at what happens. Look at the rights, look at the wrongs, the do's and the don'ts. Mm. And, and it prepared me, it trained me. And now I'm well cooked. So amazing, that was secret number two. Keep your faith. What is your, your secret faith? Uh, it's it's like you have suppressed the past people who just started. You are like the hit now and you've been there. Before, before there was mm. anyone mm. we knew so easy, mm. and it's like now you just came back and <laughs> everything is just so easy. What did you do? Like, did you sit down and say, "In 2015, I'm gonna hit them with this"? You know, I, I also like I look at myself. I'm like, God, it's like one word. It's God. Um, it's His timing. It's His. When he, when he replies, when he shows up, he shows off. And he's doing exactly that with me. I've paid my dues, I've been tested and tried, and I passed the test. So I really passed the test because I could have easily gave up and said, ah, it's done, I've reached the ceiling, or I'm out, or I'm down. So I, I stuck with my guns, I kept my faith, and now it's, it's really paying off. And every door, or everything that I touch, I know even myself, it tends to go because it's God's timing. With God's timing, you, have, you become the fairy godmother of everything. Whatever you touch changes into, from a pumpkin into a cut that is diamond encrusted. So I'm, I'm, I'm at that stage where, and because I'm in the moment and I'm aware of it, I'm going to do everything that I've always wanted to do and um, doors are opening and they're not going to open forever. That I know for sure. But I want it when they 
slow down. I must be content with things that I live. So it's, it's about that. Um, but everything that I do comes from the heart. And some, I can give you a perfect example, the radio gig. Um, there were challenges, huge challenges. There was a point where like, what the fuck was I thinking? Why did I say yes? You must let to say no, no. I'm like, I'm going to do it. I, I, I wanted to do it. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to fly against the wind, but the aim is to land safely at my destination. And now I can say, I'm glad that I did that and I stuck up because now I'm beginning to find my feet in, in the radio industry. Secret number three, have a passion. Here's the extravagant part for me, is that in 1987, these are the problems you and your parents are facing. Yeah. As you are flying into New York, they are flying out of New York. Yeah, so you guys pass each other in the air, and it's too late for them to stop you. How much are you Later. And then, but what shocked me to this day, that's why I say it, the reason why the success rate of our children yeah. is limited is because parents live their dreams through their children. And my parents did not want to do that. Because I thought my father would say, you can't make that right now. He said, if, if, if you're passionate about it, if you can say to me, you can do this for free, that's wow. the career you need to go for. Okay. Yes. And he said to me, because he said to me, my father said, passion is the only thing that will sustain you through thick and thin. Was he right? Through 2006 to 2009. Exactly. I would have given up, I would have gone to work. At, at a supermarket yeah. or, or sell Chinatown counterfeit, don't own. But passion, the words of my dad saying, if you can do, if you can do that thing for free and still be happy, that's the job that's you need to go for. Enjoying. And I was 13, and they could have said, no, please play it safe. Uh, Get please, a degree, yeah. study until my trick at least. They don't look at what my child is passionate about what my child is gifted in. They look at how bad the world is and how they need to protect you from it. Yes, and they think money is the only thing that protects you from everything. It's not the only thing that protects you. Passion, love, hunger, um, being kind. drive, being kind, being modest, yeah. being down to earth, being human. So Ms. Zimbabwe was secret number four. Confuse your enemy. But but tell me, like, what is on a spelling about it? So budget tell, we have one month end. Um, the reason why I didn't tell anyone is because I'm not the type that pre-announces. And you tell anybody something big is coming. Uh, watch the space. Watch space and Tony. I'm gonna <laughs> next. I'm not the type. I'm the type that says, ladies and gentlemen, it is final, confirmed. Signed, mm. sealed, delivered. It's yours. Yes, and it's yours. Printed again, and hopefully you will printed get it delivered. Again. No. You know what I'm saying? Go yeah. go pele ink. So, exactly. <laughs> so, so I, 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 I like to, 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 to do or announce, and also, also you, you must confuse your enemy. Yes. Mm. And the enemy is not the person that's next to you or the person that you can touch. It could be the devil himself. You must confuse him. You must also confuse the enemy that is looking at you right now or... And smiling or, in your and, face. And, and, and because we are living in a world that has two sides, the light and the dark, the evil and the good. So you, you can't just be stupid and just pre-announce six weeks before it happens and the enemy is now preparing themselves for what's about to happen. No, no, no. The last secret for Somi Zemlongo's success is secret number five. God loves you. When are you nervous? Okay, scared maybe. Oh, like like just. Yeah, not scared. Not scared because scared means yo. Yeah. Don't do Last week, Sunday. Um, before the first day of <laughs> the breakfast show, the baby. <laughs> before, yeah, that's the Sunday I was nervous. Why were you nervous? Because Fresh is such a big name and such a, like, he is like the cornerstone of broadcasting. Do you know what I'm saying? I was nervous because, hey, my God, man. Yeah. My God. Sometimes I feel like God lives in my place and then he just communicate with all of you via WhatsApp and emails or visits you and comes back and sleep in my bed because the level of blessings that I receive on a daily basis yeah. are and 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 for me it's I never believed but now I believe when they say abundance 
my life now is like looking at the sea. It never ends. My blessings are like standing in, on the ocean. They never end. And the breakfast show is one, one incident that again reminds me to God won't throw you in fire if you're not ready. But sometimes you might not be ready. But when he throws you in the fire, understand the concept. The concept is for you to come out as gold. To rise. Yes. Yeah. So so I was very nervous. And, and you know, again, back to God. God loves you. Never give, give you people that are not meant to be in your space. Sometimes for, for a reason, even if they're not supposed to be in your space, with fresh. That's when I look at fresh and like, I want to tell you, God totally loves you. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you like this video. Make sure that you subscribe. Comment down below what is the secret that you love about Somizi's success. My personal favorite is secret number three. So what is your favorite secret for Somizi's success? Comment down below and I will see you in another video.